Hello everyone, welcome again in Aimee YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have another Q&A video and still about skin factor. All right, so in previous video, we have this case, this one. So we want to calculate skin factor in a well with formation damage. And we get this value of skin, skin factor of 20 for the case where the permeability in the damage zone is one tenth of the undamaged zone. Okay, so if in this case we have formation damage issue, now in this video we will talk about a well with stimulation effect rather than formation damage. Okay, so let's read the case. A well with hole diameter of 12 inches was stimulated with penetration of 50 inches deep. Okay, so the matrix stimulation penetration is 50 inches deep and the permeability enhancement was a factor of 10. Now we need to calculate the skin factor. Okay, so we have the exactly same diameter, 12 inches like this one, formation damage. Okay, so I want to rename it to be skin damage. This sheet, skin stimulation. Okay, so they have the same hole diameter and they have the same penetration. Previously, we have damage region of 50 inches. Now we have stimulation penetration of 50 inches, right? So they are about the same. They're actually the same, but we have here damage of 50 inches. We have here stimulation of 50 inches. and Previously, the permeability in the damaged zone is one tenth of the undamaged zone. But in this case, the permeability enhancement, all right, was a factor of 10. Now we need to calculate the skin factor. Now we need to list down all the data, well diameter, or this should be DW, right? Okay, well diameter of 12 inches. Well bore radius, this should be 12 divided by 2. And now we convert the unit from inch to feet. Convert this one from inch to feet. Okay, 0.5 feet. And rather than damage thickness, I will change it to stimulation penetration. Okay, or stimulated thickness. I will change to that stimulated thickness. Okay, okay, stimulated thickness of 50 inches deep. Okay, so I will also convert it from 50 inches. To fit. All right, now K skin per K is 10. All right, the permeability enhancement was a factor of 10. Okay, so skin radius, this should be 0.5 feet plus 4.2. All right, like this one, I should also change it to DW to make it. proper naming, all right? Okay, 4.7. Now we can easily calculate the skin using this formula equals K by K skin. So it should be one divided by this one minus one multiplied by logarithmic natural of our skin our skin is 4.7 divided by RW, 0.5. Close. All right, so the skin factor for the stimulated cases is minus 2. So although the permeability enhancement was quite big, which is 10, the skin factor is only minus 2. All right, what is interesting is that this one, the permeability in the damage zone is one tenth 
1 divided by 10, right? But the skin factor is positive 20. So we can say it is a big positive skin for this damaged case, whereas for the stimulated case, we can only have minus two, which is not that big. Okay, so from these two numerical examples, it can be seen that the numerical values of positive and negative skins are actually quite different. A tenfold decrease in permeability gives rise to a positive skin factor of about 20, whereas a tenfold increase in permeability produces a negative skin factor of only minus two. Okay, so you can remember that for damage case, we can have very high skin factor, but for the stimulation cases, although the permeability enhancement is quite big, but we cannot expect very, very high minus skin factor, all right? So I hope that's clear. And that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.